Hey folks, thanks for the fantastic response on my first Let's Play Clash Royale video. A few of you asked how I created the overlay and the general design of this video, so let's strip everything away and I'll show you how I did it. So with this tutorial, I'm not going to go into great depth here, it's kind of a basic guide. And the thing you need to start with are some layers, such as a wallpaper of Clash Royale, which you're going to use as your back canvas for the video. So you can go into Google Images and do a quick search for Clash Royale wallpapers and download one. And you might also want to get the Clash Royale logo and make sure it's a transparent background and you'll see why when we start putting that image on the video editor. And you'll also want to download the Clash of Clans font which I'll provide a link for in the video description. So once you've got all of them files and images, put them into a folder and then you can move on to the video editor. My editor of choice is Camtasia Studio because it's really accessible and a very easy learning curve. But essentially you want a video editor which allows you to put multiple tracks on the video because you're going to stack them on top of each other and this is how you do it. First of all, you want to import your images and your screen recording into the program and then you can start manipulating them. So I'm just going to import my images and the screen recording and from there I can drag the images onto the track and we'll start with the background image which is the wallpaper which covers the whole of the screen and you can see that I'm dragging the edges so it snaps to the ends of the video so it covers the whole area. Next up is the Clash Royale logo and you can now see why you need a transparent logo because if it had a background then that would be on the picture as well on the video and it would just look a little ugly and if you have a YouTube logo or avatar as I do the video gadgets journal logo then you can bring that and essentially you can put these wherever you want on the left and right hand side of the screen to make it look more attractive and then you bring your video recording into the center and because mine's a portrait video recording, you can see that it just fits very nicely in the middle of the video, which I will add is a 1920 by 1080 video resolution. So just to quickly recap what we've done there, we brought in the wallpaper as the background, and then we imported other images on the left and right hand side, and then we put the video dead center, so that you can now see that as the video plays, we have some interesting images on the left and right hand side, just to give it more of a visually pleasing look. Next up is the font. Now in Camtasia, what you do is add a callout and then change the callout to a text callout and then put in your lettering. And because I downloaded the Supercell Clash Royale font and installed it on my computer, it should now be one of the text options on my fonts when I can find it and that should make it look like an authentic Clash Royale font to use on screen and again I just need to resize it maybe put in a drop shadow and put it to the right hand side where it's going to sit just underneath my logo. Now of course I do appreciate that the instructions will probably be a little different in different video editors but this is the principal reason why I edit all my videos on a PC because it allows you to do complicated things like this. Now it took me about half an hour to build this overlay in the first instance but now I can reuse it for all of my Clash Royale videos if I want to and then you can add personal touches if you want to for example I added social media buttons on the right hand side and the battle deck on the left hand side by taking a screenshot of my video when that was displayed and just cropping it so that you could see easily. So that's it folks, a very rough introduction on how to do overlays for your videos and if you do want to get into YouTubing I recommend picking a video editor and mastering it in order to be able to do things like this. I appreciate that it looks fairly easy, but it's not as simple as it looks if you're new to editing. So just be patient and bear with it. If you do have any more requests, then by all means throw them to me and I'll do more rough, quick introductions on how I do my filmmaking in future videos. If you enjoyed this one, do let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If of course, if you enjoyed it and want to know more about the Video Gadgets Journal, then subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.